Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa, Best Life Lee. Today I'm gonna to be doing a nail tutorial. If you're new here, welcome. Here on Best Life Lee, I do a bunch of different lifestyle videos from nail videos to decor videos to DIYs and cooking and kitchen gadgets. So if you like stuff like that, that helps you to have your best life wherever you are. This is not any kind of age related channel. This is for everyone. And I love that my subscribers comment and give me suggestions and ask about different things that might not even be related to the video like my hair sometimes i get comments about my hair if you i am a, i am no expert by any means but if you want to see how i do my hair i'm gonna put a video here that uh, you can check out after this video if you are so inclined <laughs> So, um, but yeah, I even have guys that like to watch my cooking videos and check out my kitchen gadgets that I feel make cooking a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. So if you like stuff like that, I hope that you will consider subscribing and come back to see what I'm up to next. So let's get started on this nail video. And I'm going to be doing an impress nail manicure and I and am feeling like I want to do a white nail this also has and a very pretty accent nail the one over here that doesn't have a lot of the bling which I think will be very pretty so I'm just going to do the white and that one on the accent nail. So I get a lot of questions so, about my the condition of my nails. Some people have a hard time removing the nails. They feel like it damages their natural nail or they um, have trouble with the nails getting caught in their hair. I basically do glue on nails. I polish the glue on nails. I, um, you know, try to give my nails a break in between just to let them breathe. And I also love the Impress pre-glued nails that are just so easy. Um, these really do stay on long uh, for long periods of time. I mean, for me, I get about a week out of my nails, whether it's glue on or press on. Um, after that, they kind of start getting a little, you know, the glue really starts loosening up and you are having problems with them popping off. So, um, the biggest tip I could give you with these nails, whether it be these Impress pre-glued or the glue on nails. And when I glue on my nails, I use the Dollar Tree super glue it's four nails you can see at the bottom of the package they show nails so you know that that's okay to use on your nails um, but the biggest tip i could give you is to find the proper size if it's too big for your nail bed you will have the problems with it catching in your hair they will also not stay on as well because they're not fitted properly so the closest you can come even if it's a little bit smaller than your nail that's better than being too large so i just wanted to show you the condition of my nails before i start to before i start to choose the sizes and glue them on so a I've had the last set of nails I did were glue on kiss nails, acrylic kiss nails. And I glued them on using, like I say, the Dollar Tree super glue. Now, after about, I would say, seven days, maybe even closer to 10 days, I removed the nails. They were starting to come off. When you polish those glue on nails, and you lose one i did lose one i don't know where it went uh, sometimes you'll be out shopping and then you get in the car and you're like oh, oh i dropped a nail somewhere and it's hard to um just pick another one like these you can just get your you know get another one that's in the package but when you polish them you don't have 
another one to use so you would have to repolish so that makes it a little tougher so when I lost one and then I um, I didn't uh, they started to pop off I removed them now I had not done anything to the nails after I removed all of my nails and I do have videos where I show you how I remove the nails and I will and I'll uh, add that at the end of this video a nail video that shows you how I remove the nails because I obviously have them off in this video but I you can see um, I'll show you that I have a little bit of the glue still left I don't know if you can see that but it's like a shiny little area on the nail that still has a little bit of the glue but like my nails are in very good condition. Um, they they have a they're marked up a little bit. Obviously, you can't really help that when you are gluing on nails. And you can see that my cuticles are kind of growing here. I don't do anything to the cuticles. I just kind of push them down. I don't remove them. I don't do anything to them the nail when I put the nail on I will just kind of push down on that cuticle and then it will be fine but I um, have let these breathe I have let my nails breathe for probably I would say three or four days just to kind of you know give them a break and not be uh, covered up or using glue all the time but there are definitely long periods of time where I just repeatedly put on a new set and they don't get a chance to breathe and they're still fine. I don't have any problem using these nails. Um, they don't damage my nails. What I'm going to do to take that little bit of glue off is I'm, I'm just, just going to give it a little bit of a file just to take that glue off. I'm not going to go really hard and damage the nail. But so, um, I do want you to see that I do give it a light file. And then what I'll do is there's a little wipe in here that has, it's like an alcohol anyway, wipe. I use the wipe to clean the nail. And then I just choose my sizes and I just press them on, literally. Just press them on and hold them on there for about 10 seconds. Not, for, you know, it doesn't have to be in an extensive long period of time. No, I did so, find uh, these nails at TJ Maxx, and you can see that I got them for four bucks, three ninety nine. But I will look so, for these. If I find them, I will definitely link them below. Check out the description section of this video, and I will link these or something similar below. Enjoy the music while I choose my nails and press these on and then we will see how they come out. She was in love with a boy, in love with a girl, so in love with the world, so beautiful. She was in love with the light, the way the sun shines, all she needed was light to have to hold. And nobody could make her feel down. She was always smiling. Like you're young again No, don't you cry Just get back up again Cause if you wanna laugh Then live it better If you want love Then stay together If you wanna smile Then be forever She was the curious kind To hate she was blind
Okay guys, well, it took me less than 10 minutes to put these on, to choose the nail sizes and to press them on. So it's a very quick DIY um, manicure that anyone can do. These are very inexpensive, it's quick, it's easy. It's the best way to get a professional looking manicure at home, in my opinion. I've been doing these nails now for over a year yes, and I have no trouble with my natural nails. I have no trouble with these. Do they occasionally pop off one or two? Definitely. These are not 100%. They're not going to be like the acrylic nails you get done at the salon. However, carry some glue in your purse if one comes off, you can just glue it back on. You can glue these press-on nails back on. Um, but um, what I usually do is I wait a good half hour to an hour to get my hands wet or to put some hand cream on um, to let the glue really, really adhere and set. But after that, I mean, I do dishes almost every night. I have my hands in water a lot washing my hands, so I find that these nails really do last. So, um, and I love this color. I love the white. I love the little accent nail. I think that these are chic. I think that they are very, very appropriate for summer. I think they look great. I think they're good in a casual setting or a business setting. Um, they look professional if I'm in a professional setting and uh, I think they're very classy and very classic. <laughs> so um, if you look really, really closely, you can see that there's a tiny little, um, you can see where there's like a little tab or um, something. What I do with that little tiny thing is I just give it a very light filing and it's gone. So I mean that really is not an issue oh. at all. So yeah, I'm really, really loving how these look, how they came out. Very, very happy with them. So that's it. That is my quick DIY how to do my impressed nails. nails. And how I hope that you have gotten some inspiration from this. As I said, if I can find these, I will definitely link them below or I will link something similar. Um, so thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching this video and watching it through to the end. I so appreciate you being here. I so appreciate my subscribers. I love your comments. Keep them coming. And if you're new, please consider subscribing and please hit that like button. So thanks again, everybody. Take care. Bye for now.